always dreamed about how it would feel to be in Ethan's arms, dancing the night away. You know what? The real thing was so much better than I ever dreamed. <sighs> Teresa, snap out of it. I know last night may have seemed like a dream, but believe me, Gwen Hotchkiss is a harsh reality. Gwen, I don't want to talk about her. I know you don't, but her antenna is up, Teresa. She is on to you. She's going to land on you with both feet and fight for her man. Can you just picture her doing that? Yes, I can. <sighs> she has power and money and all that blue blood heritage on her side. I'm afraid for you, Teresa, and all you can do is joke around. I am not worried about Gwen. She may have all the money and power on her side, but I have something better on mine, and that's fate. Fate? Yeah. Do you think it was an accident that Mama came home and told us that Ethan and Gwen would be at the dance and what costumes they'd be wearing? It was no accident, Whitney. It was destiny. Oh, oh, so it was destiny that made you call Gwen's pager? Fate that got her locked in the storage closet so she couldn't dance with Ethan all night, right? I believe if an opportunity presents itself, you have to take advantage of it. You're justifying dirty tricks, Teresa. No. I'm in love. And I know, deep in his heart, Ethan feels the same way. What would possibly give you the idea that Ethan feels the same way? I could tell the way he held me in his arms. I could feel it, Whitney. The electricity between us. It was magical. You guys were wearing costumes in masks. He didn't even know it was you that he was dancing with, Teresa. That just proves my point. Without Ethan actually seeing me, he felt drawn to me. It's like we have this deep inner connection in our souls. Okay, let's just suppose you're right. You still have one major problem. What problem? Gwen, the girl that he's in <sighs> love with, the girl that is gonna scratch your eyes out if you keep this up. I am telling you, she is not gonna stand in our way. Ethan loves Gwen. She is the girl that he's gonna marry. You are so wrong, Whitney. The only girl he's going to marry me over Ivy Crane's dead body.